Cat Party. Please welcome our contestants. Player one. Player two. Player three. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. Clues are worth $200 to $1,000 in these categories. Kmart. Coffee break. Salmon. Sports Joe's. Literature a la Seuss. And whacked. All right, let's get back into this. Player one has control of the board. After criminal activities by this secret society, Oklahoma was placed under martial law in September of 1923. Player one? Ah! That is correct. <laughs> Player one, pick again. The tenth letter of the Greek alphabet. Okay, player one. Correct. <laughs> Select again. Technically, it's known as the patella. It's player one. Right. <laughs> Please pick again, player one. It's the Daily Double. You are currently in the lead. How much? Here is your Daily Double clue. Max Sennett's silent movie, Bumblers. You have maintained your lead. Way to go. You get to pick again. Born in 1862, he founded the Vienna Secession School of Painting and also created vibrant portraits of women. Player one? Right. <laughs> Please pick again, player one. The first Starbucks opened in this city's Pike Place Market in 1971. It's player two. That <laughs> is correct. A lot of clues. Gulping down 400 million cups a day, this country leads the world in coffee consumption. It's player one. Yep. <laughs> player one. In the 1940s, this libation was invented at what's now the Shannon Airport as a welcome drink for visitors. Let's hear it, player one. Ah. <laughs> player one. The brand called Chock Full of These dates back to 1932, when William Black opened a chain of coffee shops. It's player two. That is correct. <laughs> player two. Famously mild and expensive Blue Mountain coffee is grown in this island nation. Yes, player one? Yes. <laughs> Okay, let's get back into this. Player one, you make the next selection as we continue. Fish ladders help salmon travel upstream over these man-made obstructions. It's player three. Right. Okay, let's get back. Salmon are members of the same family as the speckled or brook variety of this fish. Let's hear it, player one. Yes. Ah. 
Player one? World Book says this country leads the world in salmon fishing with more than 450,000 tons caught each year. Player one? Good for you! <laughs> Please pick again. Weighing up to 100 pounds, this large type of salmon shares its name with a warm, dry wind. Yes, player three? <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> okay, let's get back. When it gets its silvery scales and migrates to the sea for the first time, a young salmon is called this. Player two. Good for you. <laughs> Player two. You're in command of the board as we continue right now. In a nice two-year run, he married Marilyn in 1954 and was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 55. Let's hear it, Player one. <laughs> you got it. Player one. Richard Nixon's enemies list included Jane Fonda and this New York Jets quarterback. Yes, player two. That's correct. Okay, let's get back. In 1973, George Foreman grilled this smoking guy, knocking him down six times in two rounds. Okay, player two. That's correct. <laughs> Please pick again. In 1908, troubled by blisters, this outfielder played in his stocking feet. Okay, player one. Ah. You got it. <laughs> Okay, let's get back in. After coaching the Redskins to three Super Bowl championships, he retired to focus on his NASCAR team. Yes, player three? You got it. <laughs> player three? You start. Hester looked at the frock. She looked in dismay. Do you have it in something other than A? Yes, player two. Right. A lot of clues. George said, no, Lenny, no, I won't get you a guppy. You think I've forgotten what you did to that puppy? Let's hear it, player three. Good for you. Player three. I sat there with Winston. We sat there, we too. But when busted for thought crime, I knew I was through. Yes, player three? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> we return to you, player three. No Brontes, just Dantes. Got sent off to Deef. But with Danglers, that Danglers, he had a big beef. It's player two. Yeah! Right. Okay, let's get back into this. So on again, on again, from Laputa to Glubdub Grib. I'm giving up something, something a flub dub grib. Player one? Aww. That is correct. <laughs> Player one, where do we start? An anarchist named Bresci killed King Umberto of this country in 1900. Okay, player two. Good for you. <laughs> player two, Mexico, 1940. Looks like this former number two man under Lenin in Russia got whacked, literally. It's player three. Hey, you're right. <laughs>
Player three? Brother Ike took a powder as Billy of this family was gunned down at the OK Corral. Yes, player three? That's correct. <laughs> player three? This soon-to-be saint was killed by four of Henry II's men after excommunicating some bishops and barons. Let's hear it, player two. Good. <laughs> Here's the thousand-dollar clue for you. Patrice Lumumba helped the Congo gain independence from this country in 1960. He was killed less than a year later. Yes, player two. <laughs> That's it. The Double Jeopardy round will begin right after this. Categories for the Double Jeopardy round are... The 1930s. Gems and jewelry. Literary country settings. The essence of things in the neck and what I really want to do is direct okay let's get back into this player three you make the next selection as we continue W H Auden wrote of this Civil War torn country history to the defeated may say alas but cannot help nor pardon yes player one Right you are. <laughs> Player one. As the Depression hit Europe, this figure in Belgium went from 5.4% in 1930 to 23.5% in 1932. Player two. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's get back into this. Melvin Purvis gained fame, more than Hoover liked, as head of the FBI's office in this city. Player two. Good for you. You get to pick again, player two. In August of 1939, Germany signed a non-aggression pact with this nation. Yes, player one. Right. <laughs> Player one, you're in command of the board. Ooh. Answer, <laughs> the first of the Daily Doubles. You are in first place. Please enter your wager. Here is your clue. In 1932, he said Huey Long and Douglas MacArthur were the two most dangerous men in the country. Congratulations, you're still in first, player one. You again, player one. Legacy rings inspired by the Edwardian era are exclusive to this preeminent Fifth Avenue jeweler. Player three. Right. Ho, ho, ho. A lot of clues. Miss Tamblin knows that lots of jewelry is made from this brownish yellow fossil resin. It's player two. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> player two. In 1974, the newly discovered gem Savorite got its name derived from this continent's Savo National Park. Yes, player two. <laughs> right. <laughs> Player two. Here's Jimmy with the clue. Headdresses of silver or white beads are common among the Aka, a tribe indigenous to the southeast part of this continent. It's player three. Ooh. You got it. 
All right, let's get back into this. The name of this romantic ring comes from an old Irish fishing village that's now part of Galway. Okay, player one. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> player one, you start. The Treasure of the Sierra Madre, 1927. It's player two. Good. <laughs> All right, let's get back. Steppenwolf, 1929. Okay, player one. Ah. That's right, way to go. <laughs> Where do we begin, player one? Walkabout, 1959. Yes, player one. Aww. That's right, way to go. <laughs> player one, you pick again, please. The Jewel in the Crown, 1966. It's player two. <laughs> hey, you're right. <laughs> All right, let's get back into this. The Stranger, 1942. Let's hear it, player three. Correct. <laughs> player three, you start us off. A covering for the blade of a knife. It's player one. That's correct. <laughs> Player one, you'll be a contender if you know this term for a boxer who jabs with his right. Player one. Right. <laughs> Select again. The deliberate destruction of property or equipment by resistance fighters or enemy agents. It's player one. Good for you. <laughs> you get to pick again, player one. Answer, <laughs> the second daily double. You are in the lead right now. You need to select your wager. And the daily double clue. Old school inhalant to give you a nicotine rush. You have maintained your lead. Way to go. Player one, back to you. From the Urdu for soldier, it was an Indian native who served in the British Army in the 1800s. Player three. That's it. Player three, you're in command of the board as we continue right now. Curly made his woo-woos and nyak-nyaks in this hollow chamber, also called the voice box. Yes, player two. <laughs> right you are. <laughs> a lot of clues. In emergencies, this neck operation may be performed with a pen knife and the empty shell of a pen. It's player two. That is correct. Select again. These arteries carry blood to the head. A blockage in one may lead to an ischemic stroke. Yes, player two. You are correct. Player two. This gland makes its hormones by combining iodine, with the amino acid tyrosine. Okay, player two. Hee -hee. Correct. You again, player two. About 10 inches long, it passes through the neck and goes past the heart, through the diaphragm, and into the stomach. Let's hear it, player three. 
<laughs> Player three, make a selection, please, as we continue. He designed titles for silent films before he made us scream over birds and psychos. Let's hear it, Player three. Right. <laughs> Player three? Years before directing Batman and Robin, he had been a costume designer for Woody Allen, who encouraged him to direct. Yes, player two. That's right, way to go. Where do we begin, player two? This dancer and choreographer turned director for the Broadway musical Redhead, which starred Gwen Verdon. Okay, player two. Yes! <laughs> player two. This playwright gave Jessica Lange a big role when he directed the film Far North. Maybe he was a fool for love. Let's hear it, player three. You got it. <laughs> And the $2,000 clue? No slouch as an artist himself, Julian Schnabel directed the 1996 film about this Haitian-American graffiti artist. Yes, player three? You got it. <laughs> Looks like you'll all be moving on to Final Jeopardy after this break. Time to get ready for Final Jeopardy, and today the category is this. Midwest Topography. What are you going to wait Final Jeopardy clue is as follows. This state has the largest sand dunes complex in the United States, just north of a river named for its flatness. What did you say? How much do you add to your total with that correct response? What did you say? How much do you add to your total with that correct response? What did you say? And this correct response will add how much to your score? Congratulations, <laughs> player one. You are our new champion. So long, everybody.